Hi, it's Bruce Robinson here from The Fathering Project. We've been talking about mental health and mental health has been a focus of Australian research in the past few years. And the great news is that men are realising that it's really important. And there've been studies of what men find most helpful for their mental health. So we're gonna give you the results of those studies. The top 10 strategies that men reported for maintaining their mental health are as follows. First, eating healthily. In other words, don't eat crap. Stay busy. Don't let idleness win. Exercise. It's really important for mental health. Even enforced exercise makes people feel better rather than getting slack. Fourthly is to use humour to reframe your thoughts and feelings. In other words, learn how to laugh at yourself. The next is, and this is a really interesting one, do something to help another person. Because we think life is all about us. It's not all about you. And if you can reach out and help somebody else in some other situation, it can improve your mental health. Interestingly, the next one is spend time with a pet. Accept sad feelings and know that they will pass. It's not the end of the world. You don't have to avoid sad feelings. Name them, embrace them and know that they will pass and know that you will grow from them. Achieve something, big or small, every day. I read the other day that Voltaire said, cultivate your own garden first. You cannot change the world, but you can do something in your own life, in your family, in your work, in your community, so that at the end of the day, you've achieved something. Try to hang out with people who are positive, rather than people who are always whinging. And if you're the sort of person who ruminates with negative thoughts and feelings, do something, distract yourself, rather than obsessing about those negative feelings, feelings about yourself or about your life. Dads, we've got lots of other tips on the Fathering Channel about how you can improve your own mental well-being and also that of your children. So Dads, maybe, maybe you're like me and you, you think you were Superman with a big S on your chest and a blue cape. You don't need any help. Can I encourage you to dismiss that image from your mind? Be vulnerable. And in fact, it's much more helpful to your kids if you're not Superman, if you're not a hero. You'll be a hero anyway, but it's much more helpful to them for you to be vulnerable and to get help if you need it and to talk to your kids about your vulnerabilities and getting professional help and how that's helped you because in their life, they may need it too. And having seen you do it will be a great encouragement to them and also to other dads.